Hello, welcome to the Four Play Hour. Call on. Yo, yo, it's Lucas Prada. What's happening, guys? Yo, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, I'm a couple minutes late. I know, I know. It's, it's right. okay. Forget it's all good, it. baby. We know, we know you're busy. Uh, you're I was busy making man. dinner for Thank my... Thank you. I'm here, I'm here cooking dinner for my, my sister and her boyfriend, and I got all these alarms going off for my <laughs> interview, and I still called you late. Go so figure. It's all good. It's all good. You're in Miami. We How do you like appreciate the love, man. man. Going on. Good. How you like Are Miami? we on the air yet or no? Yeah, oh, we're, we're live. live. We're, we're, live. Now. We're, <laughs> we're live. We're live. Here we go. Live <laughs> from South Beach, Miami. Yeah, Lucas Prada. M- making making some rigatoni with some vodka sauce. Yes. I like trying that. To, yes. I love vodka. Just trying to keep favorite. keep it real here in Miami. You know what I'm saying? I oh, love yeah. it. Yes. <laughs> so what's right, up, so guys? How are you? Pretty good. Yourself? I'm good, man. Just getting the getting the hang of South Florida. It's been uh, it's been quite some time since I lived down here, so it's a it's a whole new world. I've been to Florida, born and raised. It's a pretty good place. The weather's always nice. Yeah, the weather is. Um, that's one thing you can't complain about. Is the weather. Um, that's for damn sure. But but it's all good, man. There's a nice music scene down here. Absolutely. A lot of Latin music as well. I bet. Winter uh, music conference. Uh, Huge. Excuse me? Winter music conference. Huge. Winter music conference takes place here, which is every March, which is great. And then there's, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of DJs from around the world. This is one of their, their backyards. So Miami has an incredible nightlife. So it's, uh, it's also really, really popular for the nightlife DJs here. That's good. Yo, Lucas, tell us about your product promotions. You got a lot of that going on right now. Prada Promotions is a, uh, basically my, my background, aside from being a singer-songwriter, has been in the radio promotion world. Uh, I always found a way to have a day job so that I would learn the industry inside and out. And I, uh, I, always, had, I always held a job doing promotion for radio, mix show, DJs, and dance radio. So I've been doing that for a long time. I worked at some of the major labels. I worked at some of the biggest indie companies, and then I, uh, I finally had my own hit, so I had to go and tour with N. She Said, and I had to leave my job for a few years, and chased, uh, I had to chase a, a big record called N. She Said, so that mm-hmm. was kind of fun, and then when I got back and things kind of slowed down a little bit, you know, I want to keep busy, so I started doing my promotion stuff again. Basically what it is is I, I work other people's records to dance radio, mix show, and club, and uh, Prada Promotions has been around for about two years. And it's, uh, it's an indie promotion company is what it is. A lot of people don't understand what it is. I promote the indie labels. I think they're great. Yeah, basically I, I work with a lot of independent companies. And I also work with the major companies as well because they know that I have a lot of relationships at radio throughout my career. So I'm able to touch base and uh, get feedback on records and get them hopefully to give them a shot, whether it be mix show, club, or actual radio spins. That's good. So, so out, of, that's, out, of all, out of all your artists that you have, though, because you've been promoting a lot of artists with product promotions, what do you think is the one that's going to like step up, like maybe up to your level or maybe beyond? Like, oh man, there's a couple right now. There's uh, there's one. Uh, well, God, I have to pick. I mean, <laughs> I like to think <laughs> so they're all good. To make but they choose straws, there, man. Yeah, for no. Well, the, the thing is, they're not signed to me, so these are records that I work on my own. So, like the Natasha Bessez, uh record called Heal. She's a superstar. She's got tons, tons of followers. She's 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 been around um, for a little bit. I mean, the last couple of years, she's been doing a lot of live shows and and building a huge fan base on the internet. She's got millions of followers on YouTube. And um, extremely gorgeous, beautiful, flawless-looking girl with an amazing voice to match. So she's really, really good. And then we got um, Christina Maria, who has a single out called Our Song Comes On. She's a big star over in Canada. And uh, that song's already platinum in Canada, and we're just wow, breaking nice. it here in the U.S. That's a great song. And both of those songs actually have um, DJ Bruno Robles as the remixer, who's a Miami-based the remixer down remix. here. Nice. So uh, he's actually doing a lot, of, a lot of different remixes. He has the brand new one with uh, David Morales, which is called "Stay" on That's Ultra. Fantastic. So uh, who else am I working with? I'm working okay. with uh, a girl named Rachel S. with a song called "Love Drunk," 
uh, another great record. There's, there's about six records I'm working right now. Uh, Raquel uh, Castro from The Voice. She was a semi-finalist oh, yes. nice. on uh, NBC's The Voice, and she's, um, she's actually one of the records I work every day. So there's, there's a bunch, you know. I try not to work my own records because it's really it's kind of awkward when you're talking to a programmer and you, you bring your yeah. own record up. So that's kind of <laughs> like... That's kind of taboo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a few All more right. questions for you here. Uh, kind of bring you back in time a little bit, you know. Okay. What is it that made you interested in the club and house music scene? Um, hmm. Well, I mean, I started out dancing for George Lamont, who was a dance artist in the mid-90s, you were, you were early 90s. I was a dancer, yeah. Nice. nice. So, so uh, I was his backup dancer, and then I also wanted to do uh, some singing. He gave me an opportunity to go on stage and actually sing with him, and uh, that's kind of where the door opened. But I didn't want to do freestyle, not that I don't like freestyle. I love freestyle. Yeah, yes. love just, all music. Yeah. Yes. It was just, uh, it was just the kind of thing where freestyle was fading out, and I was actually getting into, you know, the new sound of dance, which was, yeah. you know, 2000 and. 2003, I had a single called Let's Get It On, which broke here in Miami, actually. It was a number one record um, and started out here on the party station here in Miami. And it kind of just went from that, and I started doing more dance-leaning records, not because I really wanted to. It was just that's kind of the way it happened. I was working with dance producers and dance writers. It kind of fell stuff. in your lap that way. Kind of. I mean, I did, like I said, I came from the, the world of of freestyle, which is a form of dance, yeah, and that's when I'm that music was that music was a culture back then. That music yes, it was, was wasn't it kind yeah, of a little so bit loosely based off of hip hop? You know, kind of like in the eighties, right? Going on. The um, I mean, it was nineties. I think I, guess. I think it came it came before hip hop. Actually, yeah, it was. Uh, of, yeah. I mean, you got to you know, saying like the days of Stevie B and yes. and 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 um, Cynthia and Johnny O and. Coro and all those artists. I mean, that stuff came before hip hop. That's true. Yeah, and then you know the old school hip hop yeah. kind of was coming in, but you know freestyle was was it, it made a lot of people's careers. You know, it was it was a form yeah. of of dance. So I came from that world, and then I just incorporated it into what I was doing in my sound, and uh, it kind of took on its own life. So no complaints. Well, how was your first experience at a club or rave venue? Tell us a little bit about that. What it was? What was it like? You know, how old you were? If that was an influence first, on you? The first, the first experience performing in a club. Uh, no, you're just going one to one. Or if you'd prefer to talk about your first performance at a club, but what was your first time going to one? You know, before oh, you were go, well. Oh, I was on. a club rat from early on. I was a 13 <laughs> year old kid. I was 13. <laughs> So you had I was in your 13 bones. years old going to clubs in, in yeah. Long Island. So yes, yes. yeah, Long Island, baby. Long Island. Yeah, I mean, I found a way to get into all these clubs. So absolutely, that that's fantastic. And my last question is, what made you want to sing in electronic music instead of a rock and roll band? But you kind of already answered that. Oh, I mean, I've always loved dance music, and uh, you know, I was I'm really a big pop head, like. My influences, I mean, good I always admit it. Good pop. That's a lot, really, you know. A lot, of, a lot of people laugh when I say it, but my biggest influence in pop music was the new kids on the block because I wanted to be one of those new kids Hell on the yeah. block. <laughs> you know, and people laugh Hell and they yeah. go, well, what do you mean new kids on the block? But that was... At the time, they that was, fly. That, when I was growing up, those, those kids were, they were bigger than anything, and I went to one of their concerts and I realized that that's what I wanted to do. And I actually music, got to like eventually work with them and be friends with them and, and, and actually perform with some of them, which was kind of wild. It's really kind of cool. weird how the full circle came around. All right, Lucas, I have one more question for you. It has nothing to do with music. It has to do with you personally. What uh -oh, is, yes. what is <laughs> we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. <laughs> what is the one thing you have on your bucket list? What is the one thing that you want to do before you leave this world? Ooh, what is the one thing on my bucket list that I want to do before I leave this world? Yes. That you might not have done yet because yes. you've achieved so much yes, so far. Yes, absolutely. Well, well, well I, I got a couple, but one of them is, is really simple. I, I, I would love to be, to, you know, to have a family and have kids and be a dad. Obviously, that's that something that's fantastic. That, Lucas, that's you know, that why I love you. I love you. He's a that humble is, man. He's that a is humble by man. far the, 
the number one bucket list. Well, we wish that upon to, you. To be happy Absolutely. in that way. We wish that upon you. He's already got it halfway there. He's already making dinner and rigged. You know, he, he's doing it. <laughs> oh, that's one thing about me. If anybody that knows me, I, I, I'm very domestic. I like to cook. I love to entertain people. I love to barbecue. I love yes. to. I'm, I'm Cuban and Italian, so I have, I have both sides of the best food in the world. So You definitely do. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But I appreciate you guys taking the time to, to ask me questions and to put me on the, on the air and support my music and, and even, even the records that I'm, that I'm not actually singing on that you guys are supporting as well. I appreciate that a lot. Absolutely. We appreciate we you taking the like time you. out and talking to us. And we know you have, you're doing your thing, cooking, everything. I appreciate you taking the time out. All right, guys. Take care. and Hold it down for me in New York, and I'll be back in a, in a couple of weeks to, to help you hold it down. That's good. When you come, just let us know. We'll love to have you on. You got it, man. Take care, man. Thank you Take so much. Take it easy. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Cheers. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Lucas Prada Lucas calling in. Prada. How cool is that? First show. First show. We got Lucas Prada. Definitely a big What's shot to Lucas next? Prada. What's coming next? I never look. knew he was so domesticated. That is yeah. a turn on for a girl. He has I figured have no he would have problem. been settled down by <laughs> now. No problem. Label, but, you know, <laughs> it, it's, it's a different world, the music industry. And, uh, you know... That's really all I can say about that. But uh, you know, we uh, we can only hope the best on on that exactly. on that dream that he gets that done. Exactly. Hey, we're gonna play one more Lucas Prada song, and then we're gonna come back with a quick little big ups to Lucas. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna play one more song by Lucas Prada really quick.